Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. For those of you that don't know me or it's your first time on my channel, my name is Taddy G and I run a streetwear brand called Shiva Shiva. Here on YouTube, I like to drop videos aimed at taking you along my journey into building my brand as well as dropping tips, tricks, gems and all that good stuff. And in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about what I feel like you need to know when it comes to starting your very own cut and sew clothing brand. And for those of you that don't know what cut and sew is it's basically when you start a clothing brand and you're actually creating the clothes from scratch although i am going to be focusing on cut and sew a lot of the things i'm going to talk to you guys about today is going to be transferable say if you do want to go down that purchasing blanks route so without further ado let's get into this video time and time again i'm always getting people in my dms on instagram asking me how do i register my business and how how should I go about registering my business? I finally have the perfect solution for you guys. I've been working with Awesome for a while and they are experts when it comes to managing your business accounts. They will handle your entire company registration process. This will mean you're actually starting your business properly. You know some of us like we will register our business but we don't quite know what we're doing. With the Awesome experts you're actually starting as you mean to go on. They will give you expert advice when it comes to the legal and financial structure of your business and guys your finances in business are incredibly important in order to allow your business to actually grow so i'm going to pop the link in my description and in my pinned comment so you can get started when it comes to registering your business so the first thing you need to think about when it comes to starting your cut and sew clothing brand or even any sort of clothing brand is your brand name and your brand message guys your brand name and message particularly the message will help when it comes to shaping the collection you then later release and the custom base you end up targeting along with thinking about your brand name and message start thinking about what kind of logo you want for your business me personally i like simplistic logos sorry there's a fly in here so if you see uh <laughs> a guest in this video it's larry the fly as i was saying when it comes to logos me personally i like simple logos because i want something that i'm gonna be able to use forever and it's timeless and i'm not gonna look at it five years down the line and just be like Ugh, like why did i why did i come up with that even a brand name keeping it timeless and being quite clear with your brand message is incredibly beneficial at the beginning stages of your business but what i will say is that you can develop your brand message over a period of time like my brand message for Shvashva I definitely did not come up with it when I first came up with my business it came a little bit later yes it's something that you can develop over time but start thinking about it when you first look into starting your business before I really sat down and started thinking about the structure of my starter kit oh, for those of you that don't know <laughs> I am releasing the starter kit I'll have um, all the information down in the description so before I started like trying to work out the structure of my starter kit after this point of thinking about your brand name your brand logo and your brand message I would have said start thinking about your business plan but actually I don't actually think it is beneficial to create a business plan this early on in your process because what do you know like what do you know in terms of what to put in that business plan so next I would say actually start thinking about your collection start thinking about what you want to make make a part of that collection start thinking about some of the fabrics you want to use the colors that you want to use some of the trims so the buttons the zippers obviously you need to have an idea of what it is that you want to create so you need to think about what styles I feel like a great way to kind of like start processing things in your mind is by actually producing a mood board of some of the styles that you want and then slowly narrowing it down because me what I will say is guys when you're starting out and you don't have too much of like a budget I would say try and start off with like three or four key pieces that are going to remain in your collection for the foreseeable future this is what you want people to know your brand as although you can then go ahead and like expand and like branch out and stuff but what I would say is keep it minimal
them all so four pieces keep the minimum order quantity really low i get this question a lot how many products should i start off with i'm gonna give you a clear answer that can't be misconstrued i'm gonna say start off with four pieces within those four pieces you can have different colorways if you want but four pieces and i would say your minimum order quantity try not to go over 30. selling 30 products even though 30 sounds like a low number it can be quite difficult trust me i know i've been there and at this point it is a good time to start thinking about how you're gonna fund this business how you're gonna fund your collection there's loads of different ideas as to how you can fund it maybe it's gonna come out of your paycheck every month maybe you've got savings maybe you're gonna want to get a loan i don't know it's completely up to you but i feel like at this point you need to start thinking about funding because the next stage in this is gonna involve money so next manufacturing you need to start thinking about how are you going to manufacture your products are you going to make them yourself um like sew them yourself at home or are you going to actually look for a manufacturer and if you're going to go down the manufacturing route you need to start thinking about what country you want your garments to be manufactured in i feel like if you've got an idea of what country you want to be manufacturing in it gives you kind of sort of like something to focus on so you're focusing on say if you want to get them manufactured in turkey you're focusing on turkish manufacturers and you could like really hone in on that and say if that doesn't work out for you then you can move to a different country and then hone in on that i just feel like having a little bit of focus on a country really helps so that you're not just like all over the place and there are several websites out there that will help when it comes to looking for a manufacturer as i'm saying this as i'm filming this i feel a little bit unorthodox because it's like i feel like you should have a business plan but when it comes to like your operations and logistics section in your business plan and they're asking you who is your manufacturer and you don't have a manufacturer what are you going to put in that section do you know what i mean so that's why i haven't quite started talking about forming your business plan as of yet so of course whilst you're looking for manufacturers it's also a good time to start educating yourself i just feel like when you're running a clothing brand when you're running any kind of business you need to be constantly learning and one of the most important things in this process that I feel like you should learn about are print styles. A lot of the time when you're starting a brand, it's likely that you're going to want to decorate it with your logo or your artwork. So you need to have knowledge of what the different print processes are so that you get an idea as to what is the best print process for you and what you want to make. What is screen printing? What is embroidery? Does that work for you? What are the limitations? what are the pros and the cons i'm actually going to film a pro and con video about DG, dtg printing and screen printing straight after this video so hopefully that will help you guys as well these are things that you need to start looking at researching and understanding what is best for you and your brand so you've got an idea of what you want to create you've got an idea of how you're going to decorate it and you've got somewhat of an idea of what manufacturer you're gonna use and at this point it's likely that the manufacturer is going to ask you for something called a tech pack and a tech pack is basically a document that communicates exactly what it is that you want to make to your manufacturer i have a tech pack guide on my website tadig.co.uk so if you hop on there you're able to get a template of a tech pack which you would then be able to send to your manufacturer i'll link that in my description once you've got your tech packs and you've got your manufacturer at this point it's likely that you're now beginning the manufacturing process of off your garments so whilst that's happening i need you to start thinking about other things yeah like your branding and your marketing so let's 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 dial it back to branding a little bit what are your colors and i'm not talking about the color of your clothing because you've already decided that what are the colors of your brand what represents your brand fush fush fa it's navy blue and orange yeah those are my colors what colors represent your brand how are you going to package your garments what colors are you going to have on your website i'm going to talk about website design in a minute in this video but what colors are you going to have on your website you need to start thinking about some of these things now you need to start thinking about also your marketing what is your route to market are you going to be online i suggest you be online because we are living in a digital era but are you also going to do pop-up shops are you going to be an actual retail store so are you going to have brick and mortar you need to understand who your customer base is in order to answer some of those questions 
So you also need to start thinking about who is your target customer. And then in terms of marketing, actual marketing, are you gonna be on social media? Are you gonna use influencers? Are you gonna go down like trying to get your brand on celebrities, trying to get stylists interested in it? Like you need to start thinking about some of these things so that you can start to shape your business. And then when it comes to writing your business plan, you can start to write it in a clear and concise way. So website design, I touched on it briefly. We're living in a digital era. It is very highly recommended <laughs> that you create a website for your business. I suggest using Shopify as your website host. I will let you in on something. You do not need to pay somebody to create your website for you. You can do that yourself. There's plenty of tutorials online for you to follow, even probably even on Shopify. Like you don't need to pay anyone to make a website for you. You just need to sit down, take time and learn. This is a learning process. You need to love the process. You need to love learning about different things. That is how I feel like your business will grow. When it comes to website design, you need to start thinking about your domain name. You need to get a custom email address. Like I no longer want to see, yeah, sorry if this is going to offend people, but I no longer want to see shavoshava at gmail.com or info.shavoshava at gmail.com. Get a custom email address. On Google, it costs like £4.60 a month for your own custom email address. It just it looks professional, guys. Just do it, please. And in that, you can also get your domain name on Google. Don't forget to spend time writing your product descriptions and also your frequently asked questions, your FAQs. And also remember to write clear shipping and returns policies. So now you've got this whole understanding of what you're doing for your cut and sew business, yeah, or your um, blank t-shirt business, whatever it is. Now I feel like it's time to now put pen to paper and start developing your business plan. At this point, you should be able to answer the different sections within the business plan. And also I feel like it's important to kind of sort of have your manufacturer there because then you can get your costs and that means the financial section of your your business plan you can start writing that up as well and start to understand whether or not you're actually going to make a profit the good thing about a business plan is that it's going to force you to put both costs together and if you're not making a profit then you might have to rethink how much you're going to charge for your garments or you might have to rethink what manufacturer you're using maybe it's too expensive maybe the fabric's too expensive so those are some of the things that i feel like when you're looking to start a cut and sew clothing brand you need to start thinking about you need to be aware of all these little components when it comes to starting your business so guys i really really hope that that video has been helpful please drop a comment let's discuss if there's anything that you feel like i've kind of like missed out or like jumped over let's discuss it in the comments please don't forget to like this video share it if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel and also guys please be sure to follow me on instagram i'm not sure which side it comes up i think it's this side yeah i'm having a pop-up 5th of november this year in piccadilly circus all the details are probably gonna be on my instagram so you hop over there and check that out and guys please don't don't forget to check out awesome and start looking into registering your clothing brand i will catch you in my very next video goodbye